Hello. I'm so glad you guys are joining me today. It's, what day is today? It's Wednesday afternoon. Oh my goodness. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday afternoon. And um, I wanted to come on and do one last Facebook Live before the end of celebration. We are approaching the end, you guys. Sunday is it. I think there's, what, like four or five days? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so like Sunday is it. That is it. Sunday is your last chance to get anything free. We have so many items still available for free. We have my absolute favorite, the Country Floral Embossing Folder. We have the amazing Painted Seasons Bundle. Lots and lots of stamp sets. We still have the framelits. The DSP is still available. Lots of amazing, amazing things still available. But you only have till Sunday. After Sunday, you can't get it anymore. You absolutely need to place your orders before Sunday. Make sure you get all this stuff. Everything that you want. Including everything in the celebration coordination. This amazing stamp set, the more than words that I've used so, so much over the last month. The amazing story label punch. All of this goes away on March 31st, guys. After March 31st, it's gone. We can't get it anymore. So, you got to get it now. And then on the final thing that's going away on March 31st is our amazing offer to join Stampin' Up! Now, the kit is always an amazing offer, but it is especially amazing during celebration. And so if you want to join, get so many extra perks, extra benefits, you got to do it by Sunday. That's your last day to do it. You get, when you sign up, $99, you get $175 worth of stuff. That's option one. Option two, $129. You get to choose $175 worth of stuff, and then you get the awesome tote bag, too. Two different, two different options. Choose what's best for you, but you got to do it by Sunday, and I would love for you to join my team. Okay, that's all the urgent stuff. You guys got to... Celebrations wrapping up. We got to... We're ending it here. And then don't forget those in colors. Now's the time to stock up on them. These five are definitely leaving. We know that. We only get in colors for two years. This is this is their time to go. We got Powder Pink, Berry Burst, Fresh Frig, Tranquil Tide, and Lemon Lime Twist. If you love these colors, you've got to get them now. Get those ink pads, those reinkers, the cardstock, the ribbons, everything. Okay, guys. Before we get to the project, let's talk about something exciting. This was announced yesterday. Can you guys see that? I'm going to hold it up. This was announced yesterday. Storage by Stampin' Up. That's right. We have, well, beginning April 1st, we will have ink pad storage, stamp and blend storage. I mean, just, I'm excited about this. Now, I will not be converting all of my ink pads over real quick right away. I have an amazing wall mounted ink pad holder that my dad made and I will continue to use that. But the one that my dad made, he made years and years ago and not all of my ink pads fit it because it holds 48 and we have 50 colors. So I currently have two ink pads that just don't, that don't have a home. So I am really excited. So I'll be getting at least one of those ink pad holders and I, I don't, I may, I may do the blends, but maybe not. We'll see. I'm excited. I have some plans, but we'll see. Now these are to go on your desk and there are five different pieces. So the ink pad and marker. And so did you guys see that it stores the, the markers with it? So you have the ink pad and the markers stored together. Brilliant. I love that. So you get the the ink pad and marker storage. You get five trays, so it'll hold five ink pads and five markers for $14. And then the Stampin' Blends is also $14. You also get five trays, and each tray holds three. So that's a lot of Stampin' Blends. So you guys, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm too tired to do the math, but you guys can, <laughs> but that's a lot of blends. So you can figure out how many you need. They do stack. You can stack them. I think Stampin' Up! said they stacked them 50 high. Now, I'm not sure I'd recommend that, but <laughs> I think that would be awfully a precarious situation. I'm not sure I would do that. But you can stack them as high as you need to 
fit all of your needs. So in addition to the to the ink ones, there's ink and there's the mark the stamp and blends. There's also this open storage one. And if you look in the picture up here, they hold three of our half mount wood cases. So that is I have my chamois in one of them in a wood case or in a half mount wood case. So that is this box right here. So it's not the same height as a, it's the half size of this coffee set out for right now I'll show you. So it's half the size of a normal an, of a normal stamp set or a normal stamp case and it's the wood one so they're thicker than the normal than the normal cases. So and that the open one holds three of these. So you can see that there they have it all I gotta pick up all my papers again. So they have the three all lined up there in that open case, in that open cube. And then and they have another open cube with like ribbon and stuff in it. So those open cubes, you can really store whatever you want in them. Those are for you to go wild. There's two different toppers. Hey, Kim. There's two different toppers for it. There's um, a flat one, which is $3. That open storage cube I, meant, I didn't mention was 10 bucks. The flat one, you can just put on top. And then you'll have a flat surface to put whatever you want on it. And then the storage topper, this one holds 20 refills, refill bottles, stamp and re-inkers. And that one, and that one just gives you like a little box to put stuff in. And that's another option to top your, your thing. So this is coming April 1st. You cannot buy them now. You can't buy them now. But if this is something that you love and you really want to invest in all this organization, then I would recommend joining my team and then buying all of this in April at a 20% discount because everybody loves a discount. So that's coming soon. And so they have, there's also configuration charts. It tells you exactly what comes in them and you can figure out how many ink pads you have, how many storage units you'll need. And then the last page I'm going to show you just shows you how they all stack up. So you can mix and match. You can, it's this one, example three has that open cube and then the ink and marker storage and then that open lid. So you can mix and match them however you want. You can stack them however you want. They're, I think they're gonna be a lot of fun. I'm, I will be investing in a few pieces in April and then I'll, I'll make sure to share them with you guys. But this is very exciting. I'm very happy that Stampin' Up! finally has storage. It'll be fun. I'm very excited. So, okay, that's all the news. But remember, you can't get this till April 1st. April 1st. We got to get through celebration first. If you do want to place an order, please head to my website. Use this host code. If your order is over $50, you're going to get not only celebration stuff, but I'm also going to um, send you a roll of ribbon. You get to choose that. I will email you for your ribbon choice, and you'll get to choose it. So here's what we're making today, guys. It's super cute. Look at this little lollipop or sucker, whatever you want to call this. Look at this little sucker holder. Isn't that cute? It's like a little candy in a box. And I thought these would be really cute if you had like a little styrofoam wreath or even just a square piece of styrofoam for Easter. You could just poke all these in there and they would be such cute little favors. Isn't it cute though? I love this. So I have a few of these little candies. These are from C's. C's is my absolute favorite place to buy chocolate. Um, my mom and I went and she bought a box of these. I believe it was a box of 30 and I think it was 20 bucks, around 20 bucks. So they were, it, it was a pretty good deal because normally if you buy these individually in the stores, they're a dollar each. So a box of 30 for 20 was, was a pretty good deal. So, but they're, um, they're a lot bigger than like you're just your normal sucker. So I wanted to make like a little box for them. Isn't that cute though? I... I absolutely love this. So we're going to make this little this little guy. And it's so easy. And you can get, I think, 16. You may be able to get more. You can get 16 out of one 12 by 12 sheet. So if you do craft shows or if you need to make these in bulk for some reason, this is a great project. So what I have is a piece of DSP. This is the how sweet it is DSP. This is from the Occasions catalog. This is in that sweetest thing. Um, but whole suite, it has all the candy jars and stuff. This is the DSP we're using down here. We're going to use this DSP. You can use any DSP, of course. I, I just wanted it bright and fun Easter-y kind of colors. So this card, this DSP is six by one and a quarter. 
And then I have already scored it at one inch, two and three quarters, three and three quarters, and five and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna set that aside. So I already have one that is not written on. And I'm just going, and it's already been folded. So easy peasy, that is it. Four score lines, easy peasy. Okay, we are going to, on this little half inch score line down here, we're gonna put some adhesive on that. I'm using Fast Fuse. I would recommend either tear tape or liquid glue for this. I wouldn't recommend snail. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna line up this fold line right here with this edge on the other side. And all we are doing is simply making a little box. That is it. How cute, right? Okay. But before, before we go any further, we have to get the little candy in there. So I have my um, quarter inch handheld punch here. And all I'm gonna do is I am just gonna eyeball it. I am not gonna be real specific. If you really want to be super specific, you can you know, find the absolute center and then punch it then. I'm really eyeballing it. There's no point in me being super specific on this. So, and then I'm just going to take one glue dot. I'm gonna stick it on the top of my candy right here. Just stick it right on the top and that's just gonna help hold it in place. So I'm gonna find that seam. That's gonna be my back. Not that it really matters when you put your candy in. But I'm just gonna, you see, I just slid my candy into that hole and then it's just gonna line up in that box. And I'm just gonna press down on the top and that's just gonna hold that in place so that it doesn't jiggle off. And that is basically your holder. Isn't that cute? So cute, these would be so cute just all lined up. But let's do some stamping because we're gonna make it a lot cuter. So I have my, I have some Whisper White paper, just some scraps. I am using this stamp set. It's called A Good Day. It's in the annual catalog. Lots of really fun smaller images on here that would work perfectly for these little candy treats. I'm using this little bunny and then I'm using this little stitch circle here. Okay, so I'm going to, what am I going to stamp first? I'm going to stamp my circle first and I'm going to do that in Granny Apple Green. So I'm just going to ink that up and stamp that down, it's cute. I'm gonna put the granny apple green away that we are done with that. These would be so easy to mass produce, you guys. They're so easy to make and they don't require a lot of supplies. And if you don't wanna stamp anything here, you could easily just put maybe like a punched flower or even like a big shot item or, I mean, you could put anything here and it doesn't have to be super elaborate or fancy. This would be great for kids too because they just care about the candy. And so all I did was stamp that little bunny right inside. Super cute. And that was in gray granite. I don't think I mentioned that. So we're gonna do some really simple coloring on our on our image here. I have my Stampin' Right markers. These are not my blends. These are just the regular Stampin' Right markers. I have Coastal Cabana and Flirty Flamingo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the Flirty Flamingo just on the inside of the ears and then on his nose. And that is all with the Flirty Flamingo. With the Coastal Cabana, I am only coloring his little bow. And that is it. You could get out your, your blends if you wanted to, but this image is so small that it, the blend, you really wouldn't be able to do too much blending. But there is our little stamped image. Super cute, really, really fast, really fun. This would be such a fun project you could do if you have maybe like a Girl Scout troop or maybe just kids coming over, they can make a fun treat. So I'm punching it out and I am using the one and a quarter inch punch for this. So then that fits that little stitched circle perfectly. And then I'm just gonna take the one and three eighths inch scallop and I'm just gonna punch one out of Granny Apple Green. And then we're just gonna start sticking this together. I told you this was such a fast little treat here. So cute though. This just goes right onto our scallop circle. That's it. I'm gonna take a couple dimensionals, stick it on the back. This will go right onto our little, the front of our, our candy here. So cute. And so I'm just gonna finish it off with some ribbon. This is our, our double-sided ribbon. I don't, is that what it's called? Reversible ribbon reversible ribbon. It's um, Coastal Cabana on one side, Granny Apple Green on the other side, and it's in that same suite of products that I showed you in the 
how sweet it is or the sweetest thing sweet it's down here it's pretty I love this ribbon because it's just it's two in one you get two in one so I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of that and we, I'm just gonna tie a knot you could tie a bow if you were you know extra fancy you could definitely tie a bow I'm just gonna tie a knot and I want the coastal cabana side out so when I come through here so the one in my left hand is already coastal cabana but the one in my right isn't so when I come through and I get to tightening it I'm just gonna flip it over flip it over and get that coastal cabana side out there we go and you can double knot it if you want I'm just gonna leave it just like that I'm just gonna trim my ends so they're a little nicer there we go and that is it how quick and easy you could definitely make a ton of these in no time these would be great for craft shows these would be great like I said maybe stuck in little styrofoam on or even for a little placeholder just stick it in like a box or something to hold it up even just on a plate it would be it would be super cute these and like I said the, the candies came from C's and there were four flavors in the box there was a butterscotch a vanilla a chocolate and then a latte one so definitely something for everybody um, and my kids have eaten these and they said that they are fantastic candies so but if you guys have any questions on anything please let me know this is just a really quick fun little treat I wanted to share with you guys and I will have this up on my blog next week I have my whole week of um, projects going up this week of stuff that I did over the weekend on in my VIP group so if you have not joined that group please do if you need to order anything please head to my website and place your orders make sure you get all celebration orders in by Sunday make sure to take advantage of that starter kit offer by Sunday and if you have any questions please let me know otherwise I will see you guys later have a great Wednesday bye